in this video we're going to be setting up custom blocks for the tip type editor we're going to be setting up a carousel and on top of that we will also be setting up the ability to add statistic resource so crack your favorite coding beverage and let's get started with coding so in this video we're going to be setting up custom blocks so let's go ahead to a code editor inside app folder inside filament inside here we're going to and in tip tab we're going to create a custom block in this case and for this one let's call this one we could go in for example mary ui here which we're using as our framework let's go in and see what we have we could use so in here we could for example go ahead and say we want to create a statistic so let's go ahead and say we want to create a statistic this is going to be quite a simple one but let's go ahead and see if we can just do that so i'm going to go ahead and call this tip tap and i want to call the file stats.php and in here let's go into our folder here and let's go ahead and make sure we add this in so we want to change the namespace around a bit so let's just go ahead and say app filament tip tap and let's go ahead and check it again so let's call this stats let's import this one here let's make sure this is a namespace go ahead and have a name let's just see if we can render a name for now so we have these two here we have the previews and we have the rendered one so i'm gonna go ahead inside here i'm gonna go and just close down some of this bit here i'm gonna go ahead and create a folder and i'm gonna have one that's called previews and we're gonna have one that's called rendered So let's go ahead and create these two. In here, we are then able to say, for example, in the blade file. So this would be the previous one. And in this case, let's go ahead and actually, we don't even need to do. Let's go in and log in as well now so we can get started with it. Okay, and then in here, let's create a diff. In here, we're just going to have name for now. Down here, we'll have to st ace Mary stat. All right, so let's go ahead and just see if we can do the same in here for now. So in here, we can, for example, go in and load a live wire, or we could just go here. We are just rendering this normally. Then what we want to go ahead and do in here is we want to go into our provider here
So I think we should just go into our app service provider. Call this uh, stats. Okay, let's go into articles page. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have registered properly. So let's go ahead into our tip tap editor here as well and make sure that we can properly is that we need to require this to be output as tip tap output JSON and you can import this up here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of the imports we don't need anymore. So let's go ahead and do that inside the category resource as well since we are able to do it in both then. So let's head into full screen mode because that's a bit easier to work with. Let's put in test. And there we go. So this looks like it should do. So now we can go ahead and actually make this a bit more usable. So let's go in here and say, t put a one here. Let's go in and actually call this description value. And we don't need the tool tip. You can decide yourself to let the users decide icons for now. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is in both of them in here. Just go ahead and say title, value, description. And let's make all of these required. So with these being required now in here, we should just be able to drag and drop this in users and let's put 3000 and let's say list of total users and there you go. So now we're actually able to create our own block here. We're able to add in our own statistics and you can go in and customize this a lot more if you want to. If we save this change, our content. There you go. So we actually have this component in here. So we're able to now drag and drop different things into it. So it kind of feels a bit more like a content management system. And we're able to do this for pretty much anything you want. If you fancy, you could add in other things in here as well. Livefire components even included. So we could even go ahead and we could add in a steps. We could add a timeline. Um, you could go ahead and add a carousel, for example. So that may be another great one to do here. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you how you want to proceed with this. I think the only other thing I would like to go in and add, because I think it's nice to have the ability to have a carousel. Let's go ahead and here and I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. Call this one carousel. And in here, we're just going to allow uh, the ability to upload because filament PHP has a repeater component, 
let's go in and see how we could use this to our advantage. So if we go in here and create this repeater here, we could probably just go ahead and add in here, import it, and we could just go in and say image here. Now let's just leave the columns out. And let's go into our Mary UI page now. Let's go ahead and see how we can do this here. So we just need to combine this into an array. So let's go ahead and add that. And let's make sure we actually go ahead and create the new files as well. So for now, I just want to go ahead and see how images looks like. Um, so I'm going to go add this one in here as well. Just to see if this would work, the data type we're getting through here. And I want to go ahead into our app service provider. Let's go ahead and add the So I'm going to go ahead and add in this Ike picture here and let's go ahead and we, we don't want to call this app member. So let's go ahead and add another one. Okay. So let's go back images. So let's go back in. Gonna have exactly the same ones here. Okay, so that's fine. That that's to be. Ex Let's just go ahead and say print R. So in here, you can see we have this array here. So I don't know if this would work immediately if we just said X Mary carousel and have the slides in here. Oh, and we also need to add it to our one here. So I'm going to go ahead and add it here as well. Let's try again. So I've got a repetition here. Let's save this and see how it looks like. Okay, so let's see what is going on here. So we have this slice component here. Inside LifeWire here, let's see. We have elements. And I don't think that's going to work. So we need to essentially combine this to an array that can be work was just to add in an array map here where we add the dash here because otherwise it won't work and add the images in here. So with that done now, you can then use a carousel in here as well. And you can see there's no errors in the console log. So if we, for example, head it back in here, we could 
try to see if we can get this now to work on the rent on the previews. And it won't work. So what we can probably do in here instead is we can just go ahead and say um, for each images as image. And in here we just want to show an image source. So we could do it like that, uh, maybe make it a fair bit smaller. Thirty-two. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and say inside our castle component, we will go back in here. We will now be able to try to make this function work in here, but it doesn't really work when you render it at least. So have a castle component as well. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.